I'm very good. What, 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 what do you think about the idea? Do you, do you see the shoes? <laughs> like, like a cat, right? Like a pussy cat. All right, now I think I'm a pretty cool guy, but yeah. I'm not Jack the Ripper. All right, no, I'm not, not Jack the Ripper. No, not. What is it like playing him? <laughs> um, you know, uh, we had a good time doing the pilot, um, but definitely just a jumping off point from from what we created in the pilot. I, I'm looking forward to developing it. We've definitely just scratched the surface um, with the character. I, I'm looking forward to finding his quirks and contradictions and motivations and, and justifying what he does on a daily basis. Um, and then being in a completely different environment, New York City in 21st century compared to Victorian London in the 19th century is going to be a, a, a fun thing to explore. You know, your accent is really throwing me off. I remember Daniel Grayson. Where's his accent coming Where's from? Where's that guy called? Uh, why, do you, why do you think people are so interested in shows about time travel? I, I, I think there's a lot of scope for storytelling. I think everyone's interested. As obviously, there's no such thing as time travel. Sorry to break it to you, but there's not. But if there was, and people sometimes think, maybe, maybe one day we do. I mean, I think airplane, uh, air, air travel is the closest thing for, to time travel. And that baffles the mind, you know, having breakfast in one place and lunch in, the, in another. It's just, you know, we couldn't even think of back in the day. But I'm, uh, I'm excited to, um, I, I think audiences will, will gravitate to it because of that and, and, and suspending disbelief and, and really diving into seeing what these characters go through and the different changing environments. Um, it's going to be awesome. So, so we'll see. I'm excited about it. I like this guy. Thank you so much. Thanks, mate. Take care.